All of us recognise that winning the league was a special moment for Rangers Football Club. And before I say more, I want to congratulate the club on their success and thank all those fans who celebrated at home and who followed the rules. But the behaviour of some fans has been an absolute disgrace and has undoubtedly cast a shadow over what should have been a special day for the team. The success that we've had in recent weeks in reducing case numbers is because so many people across Scotland have stuck to extremely tough rules which are designed to prevent the spread of the virus between different households. To see so many people deliberately flouting these rules with no regard for the safety of others is shameful. Events like yesterday risk spreading the virus. And they show no regard or respect at all for the millions of households across Scotland who have been sticking to the rules, who haven't been able to meet up with friends and families, to fully celebrate birthdays and other milestones, or in some cases, to attend funeral services of their loved ones. The Government and Police Scotland reminded Rangers of the need for the club to advise fans to adhere to the current restrictions in discussions on the 26th of February and the 5th of March. It is a matter of profound regret that that did not happen. The Scottish Government will be making an extreme disappointment at the lack of leadership clear to the team management and will be speaking to all the authorities about what further assurance they can give to us ahead of future planned games. I also understand that many people have questions as to the preparation for and the nature of the policing that took place yesterday and why they did not prevent people from gathering. I understand the anger of those living and working in the city centre at what they saw and what took place. Policing of such occasions requires difficult operational judgments to be arrived at by Police Scotland. The Justice Secretary has spoken to the Chief Constable and to Rangers Football Club and will be doing so again to understand why the events of yesterday took place as they did, what actions are now being taken to identify those responsible and what more can be done to try to ensure that we do not see the repeats of these scenes at upcoming events.